What is going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to go ahead and show you guys how to apply a texture on text in Adobe Illustrator CS6. This is an easy tutorial and you guys can follow along, it's very simple. Um, this, you know, is for beginners so you guys um, should be good with this tutorial. So this is what we're going to be creating and let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial. So once we have our document opened, I simply went to you know cr to create a new document. So I went to File New, and then the the width is 1920 by 1080. I clicked OK, and the the background should be white. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, make a background. So simply go over to the rectangle tool, press M for the shortcut, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the color. So go to the fill here, and I'm gonna change the color to a. Uh, I would say a, a red. I'm gonna go with a red this time, like a maroon color. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just simply fill it. So just you know, click and drag outwards, just like this. And I'm not a big fan of the color here, so I'm, I want something a little bit darker. Ooh, like that. That looks good. Okay. So once we have the background how we want it, we can go over to the layers, uh, the layers panel here. If you guys don't have that, go over to Window on the top. And go to layers, and there should be a check mark next to layers, and that's uh, showing you that um, you have the layers window open. When you do have the layers window open, next to the eye icon right here, right here on this empty area, we're gonna click, and that will lock the layer, which means you can't make any changes to the layer itself. So once we've done that, I just pretty much went and renamed it to BG for you know background. Create a new layer right here, and rename that to text. Once you've renamed it to text, we want to go ahead and you know start typing. Uh, so I'm gonna just type vintage. By the way, the font I'm using is Appleton, so uh, this is not a free font. So you know you have to pay for it, <laughs> unfortunately. But but you guys can find a font that looks similar to this. So right now our text is set to black. So click and select everything, and on the fill I'm gonna set that to white because white is much. It's a more clean. Uh, stylish color and it just pops out more so here we have vintage here looks pretty cool and I really like this font so I really really highly suggest you guys check this font out but um, you know once you have this uh, the the text you want right click make sure you have it selected and you're on your text layer right click and go to create outlines once you do that you want to make sure that everything is grouped and one way to know that it's grouped is if you right click you're gonna see under the isolate selected group uh, it's gonna say ungroup and that means that your text is grouped together and if it's uh, not grouped then it's gonna say uh, if, or if it is grouped it's gonna say ungrouped and if it's not it's gonna say grouped so you know vice versa <laughs> so once you have it selected uh, we're gonna go down to the transparency window here if you guys don't have that simply go over to the top on window and go down to transparency and there should be a check mark next to it Find it here on the right side somewhere, uh, and then open the transparency here. <clears throat> once you have this, sorry, my voice is like gone. <laughs> once you have the transparency window open, right here you're gonna see make mask. But before we do that, we wanna go ahead and import our textures. And I simply went, uh, I simply went uh, and downloaded a few textures online, and I have this one here that I use all the time. And this is vector, so. It doesn't. It's not images or anything. It's all vector based, so you can zoom as far as you can. So let me show you. Like right now, I can zoom as far as I can, and nothing is pixelated because that's Adobe Illustrator. It's vector based, not like Photoshop where it's pixelated. So once we have, you know, you want to choose a vector uh, texture, select it right here with the selection tool. Don't use the direct selection tool because that will just select a little piece. So select this and it, it will turn blue and that means the whole thing is selected. Make a copy, so command C. And I'm going to go ahead and close that because I already made a, a copy of that. And by the way, the download for that will be in the description. So guys, please check out the description. The download link will be there. And if I don't post it, please remind me <laughs> so I could, you know, uh, put it in. Or if it goes down, just tell me and I can update it. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and select our text here, Vintage or whatever you cho chose to type. And then in the transparency window here, we're gonna go ahead and choose make mask. Now, we're gonna click this little black box next to it, and we're gonna press command V, and here's our texture. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and make this bigger, so we're gonna scale it up. I like to hold shift and alt 
because this will just scale it um, up like it, it centers it instead of just going like this just with the shift because we want to keep it pro proportional so once we do that it's gonna fill it right we don't want to clip this because um, because you won't be able to see like if I zoom in you'll only be able to see like the the actual the outline and we don't want to do that we want to fill it with a with our texture so select the text the texture and make sure clip uh, next to clip it's not checked and you guys can invert the mask if you want if it's set to black so it could be viewed on white and if it's white the texture's white invert it to make it black so you can see it on white and you know click back on the first uh, box here and click off of it and you, now you guys have a texture on top of it of course you could always add more let me show you how, guys how to do that I'm gonna go ahead and open up the textures it should look like this once you extract it I believe vector textures double click the vector textures uh, Adobe file I'm gonna select the first one I'm gonna press command C I'm gonna close this because I don't need it anymore I'm gonna select the text okay and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make this smaller here and I'm gonna go ahead and go back here and I'm gonna paste it just simply paste command V now I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger just like so and the bigger you make it the bigger the the texture will be the smaller you make it the less visible the you know the spots will be so go back here and then click off of it and you guys can you know see that there's more onto this the texture is more uh, visible here and it looks way better than it was before you just add more style to it and if you guys want to be very unique and stylish <laughs> go back click on the text if you want to modify the texture click on the second one because that's where the opacity mask is click on that and now you could actually edit so you could delete the texture if you don't like it you could change it you could add something there you could even actually rotate the texture if you like which is really nice so it's a nice effect and you click back to get off of that if you don't you won't be able to go to the layers and change anything so you have to click on here to accept the changes and then there you go we got uh, your texture here so you could apply this to any images you want you know your your artwork Make sure it's grouped though. If it's not grouped, it's not going to apply the texture to everything. It's only going to apply it to the layer that's only selected or the part that you have it selected to. So make sure that everything is grouped and you have everything finished and then apply the texture at the end. So if this video helped you, then please leave a rating below. That will be much appreciated. Leave a comment in the comment section for, uh, you know, for anything or just want to say hi, I'll reply back. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And until then, stay classy. Peace out, and if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Peace.